Good morning. I, I wanted to share this morning a verse that's that's come to mind for me lately, and it's one that is actually on my favorite sports talk show. Um, a line will show up every week or so, and, and it's one that, that gets thrown out a lot, and it's uh, the best ability is availability. And it's inevitably they're talking about it in terms of, you know, an athlete who gets injured a lot or, or whatever, where it doesn't matter how talented they are, if they can't be available, then... Um, then what good is it? Essentially, you know, the um, sometimes the most important thing in life is to be there. And so through that, I was thinking about uh, Galatians six two bear with, bear each other's burdens, and in doing so fulfill the law of Christ. And that idea of of like being there for one another and, and why that's so important and why it matters. But in doing that and in looking at, at Galatians six two, I I got an, an interesting takeaway from the surrounding passages where um, what surrounds that is not what you would think. It's not, hey, be there for people, you know, show up and, and be available, be be present for them. In It is, but it, it's in a weird way. So it starts by saying, hey, if someone's caught in sin, you should come alongside them and walk humbly and help them to come along. And then it hits 6-2, bear one another's burdens. And then it goes into all these other things on like, uh, do good job, do a good job. Do your work in such a satisfactory way that there's no need to compare it to anybody else. Like you're just going to be proud of what you do. And, and, and then it's like, well, provide for your teachers. You know, those that sacrifice for you, share, share good things with them. Uh, don't mock the law of the Lord. And, so it seems like it's like bouncing all over the place. But what ties it together at the end is is the simple idea of you reap what you sow. So reap good things, do good works. Um, I'll just read the last couple verses of the passage. It is, uh, those who live only to satisfy their sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone, especially those in the family of faith. So yes, be there for one another. Yes, be available. But more than that, do good. Do good work. Be a good student. Be a good um, whatever it is that you are because you're going to reap what you sow. And, and I think sometimes that can be really comforting because it seems like such a nonsensical thing. But I, I even find myself so often preaching the other side of that, which is, hey, sometimes the, the results aren't going to match our execution. Sometimes we can, um, we can do good and we can, put our, you know, we can do our best and it still doesn't work out. And that's true. But sometimes it's reassuring to, to hear that where it's like, hey, if you do good, and you're persistent in it, you hang on, you're going to reap what you sow, and, and good's going to come out of that, and you're going to reap a harvest of blessing. So I hope that's an encouragement this morning. Um, I, I don't often get to be the positive one, so I'll, uh, I'll revel in that today. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I will uh, hopefully see some of you guys in the next few days.